Hey everybody, it's Lee Stark here at the Gadget Grill, and right now we're going to take a look at the Wacom Bamboo Second Generation. It's pretty new, I've only really had it for 30 or 40 minutes, not including the bus ride, to get it home. And what it is, it's a graphics tablet like the sort you're used to seeing, except for that, um, it has a... It's sort of a different tablet that, that you probably didn't expect, uh, or different feature rather you didn't expect. So um, it's got the pen, and you can use the pen like you normally would on the graphics tablet and drawer. But now in the second generation, it also has finger touch, you know, proper touch with your finger. So if I click in here, and because it's got touch, it must have gesture control, just like the Apple iPod Touch and iPhone have demonstrated, and on the MacBooks. So if I go in here, I can go down by putting my fingers up and down like that. I can go back a page by flipping back with two fingers. I can go forward a page by doing a horizontal action. And say I wanted to blow up the page, just like uh, in regular programs uh, on those devices, I can zoom in. A second. There we go. I can zoom in and it all works pretty well. It's kind of kosher. It's nice. It's, it's pretty sweet though. Oh, too, too big. A bit too big. Now, as you can expect, this works across the board. I'm just going to go into Photoshop and look at an image right here. And I'll zoom in. Now, for some reason, it zoom functionality isn't working the way it should be. I'll work it out later. As I said, I've only had it for 30 or 40 minutes. But as you can see, if I move this into the right spot, Aloha! It's cool. And likewise, you can still use this. Now, if I wanted to draw on this, you can draw with your touch. You actually, to do it, you click once and then hold it in, and then you can draw until you let go. And now I can't draw, it's just the actual finger movement. So that's kind of cool. I've also started playing with other software I actually use in the Gadget Film, which are things like audio. So when I'm editing um, podcasts and files for actual radio play, occasionally I want to zoom in to see the waveform. So I can now zoom in using my hands. If I want to drag that, I can drag that along. And I can zoom in all the way to see the individual waveform points. That's kind of cool. Uh, it also comes with um, a downloadable option, which is the Bamboo Dock, which I'll get to in a second. Right now, I'm just going to get to the notepad. Now, obviously, you can't write with your fingers. Well, you can, but Windows 7 doesn't really pick it up. So I'm going to bring the mouse in. And you saw when I was touching there, the actual panel glows, or the tablet, glows white every time I touch that. You can see that's glowing white there. Bring the pen in, and it glows orange. Now I'm just going to go back into Notepad. Come on. I'll turn Touch off using one of the buttons on there. Now I'm in here and I'm going to write something. This is Windows 7. This is how good Windows 7 is. It's uh, It picks up the difference between the tablet for writing and the tablet for just finger gestures really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this is a pretty funky is it going to pick up the difference? Oh, and it's got a problem. So uh, just because it's uh, Windows 7 doesn't mean it's got it all right. So what I can do is I can draw out there and go over here and I still haven't quite worked out the ha how to do this. I'm just going to draw that entire thing and Try and write this again. It's still Windows. A pretty funky test. And I'll go back and fix. It's still not faster than typing, to be honest. Um, but, you know, you get what you can. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and it's going to hate me. Anyway, you can insert that. I probably wouldn't use the the, uh, the actual writing as a mechanism uh, over typing because it's still not quite fast enough, but it's there if you want to use it. Let's get into the dock, which is here, this little funky thing that comes with, uh, you can download rather, from the Bamboo website. I'll turn touch back on, even though I'm probably not going to use it. And you can do things like Doodle, but what I have here is called Draw Tweet, and this will let me uh, tweet um, 
well, basically just a drawing. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to continue drawing my little Wally picture here. Give him some tires. Yeah, we go. Yeah, Wally's looking sweet now. And I'll say, ta-da! Just like Wally says. Yeah! There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to send. And... I have just sent a tweet with a drawing in it over Twitter. How cool is that? I mean, I'm especially excited. But it's got things in here as well, like uh, the ability to uh, create music and whatnot. And it's just all little games you can play. The Bamboo is a uh, consumer product. And this is the Pen and Touch, which gives you both the pen and the touch. And it's available soon. And it uh, it's pretty freaking cool. I think I'm going to be addicted to this. I'm going to exploit every damn thing I can find with this and see what programs it works well with. I know it already works well with Google Earth. I'm curious to see what 3D programs it works with. It's pretty cool for... If you just wanted to touch for less than a hundred bucks, roughly so, you could add touch to your computer with a bigger size pad than Apple's MacBooks have pretty freaking cool. So yeah, I'll keep playing with this and uh, I'll have a full review next week. See ya!